Hey guys, Adam here with americantrucks.com. Today we're taking a closer look at and installing the Tuffy Center Console Locking Security Insert available for the 10 to 18 Ram 1500 with the fixed floor center console. It also won't fit with the guys who have the remote CD player in their console. So if you have the fixed floor but have that CD player in there, that CD player has to go. It's not going to allow this to work. Now, if you're the owner of that Ram with the fixed floor console, you might be in the market for something that's more of a security box to go right in your center console, conveniently stowed away, really subtle, that's safe for firearms, ammo, and any documents, or really anything that you don't want getting broken into with your truck and stolen. So this is a really good way to lock that up and have it for safekeeping right in a convenient location. Now, the cool thing about this particular box is it's really affordable and it's really effective. Affordable coming in right under the $150 mark, and with that price tag, you're getting something that's 16 gauge stainless steel that's got a pry guard to locking system, basically meaning you can't pry open this thing. There's no way, no how it's not happening. The other thing that's really cool is that it has the anti twist push button locking system, which is that locking me mechanism here. Now, it does come with two double bitted keys for added security, and you also get that spare, so that's really nice to have in case you lose the first one. But when it's locked, Man, this thing is not going anywhere. Throw one of your keys in and give it a simple twist. It unlocks and it has a very easy door coming right up here. Now you can't close the center console when the door is open, but what you do get is with this thing installed, you have this smaller area similar to the top portion of your center console that you can store things on top of the box. It also keeps access to your little coin trays on the back side here, which I actually really like. It's not a center console lock box that's gonna take up the entire thing. It sits down a little bit farther, does make it a little bit smaller, but it gives you really three tiers of center console with one being lockable. So it's a really good feature you have here. Also, it's got a textured black powder coated finish, which blends in really nicely to the inside of your center console, has a nice finish to it, so it's not sticking out like a sore thumb. The finger hole here, it's more of a hoop. You get to put your finger in there. That's also really effective. It's really comfortable. It's not awkward. It's in a position that you can get to right from the driver's seat, which I really like. So altogether an affordable system that again, it's just really effective. This is gonna get two out of three wrenches on our difficulty meter. Reason I say that is because it does require some drilling. Now when I say drilling, I don't mean you have to go get a drill and drill bits. I mean, it does come with self tapping screws that will end up making holes in your center console. So. You can use a Phillips head screwdriver, which I'll show you guys as well. But you can also use an impact gun and a Phillips head bit if you have one, that'll make life a little easier. I also recommend picking up a center punch. You wanna make sure that your screws are going in straight and centered in the holes. You're only drilling two holes that are needed. There's one on the bottom on this side, one on the passenger side, right in the center console. You'll bolt those brackets down and it's not going anywhere. Now you have two additional screws in the kit that you can put one on each side. Now we're not gonna be showing you that today, we're just doing the bottom ones here because it really, that's all you need, it gets really secure. If you want that added security, the option's there. Now it takes about 30, maybe 45 minutes from start to finish to get in place. I'm gonna show you every step of the way, let's get to it. Tools needed for this install include an impact gun, an extension, a ratchet, 11 millimeter wrench, 5 32nd hex socket, Phillips head bit, a center punch, and a Phillips head screwdriver. Guys, the first step here is to assemble a couple of brackets supporting the lockbox before we throw it in our RAM. Now what you have to do is take the keys out of the kit, unlock it, and open it up. I'm gonna put the keys to the side just so they're out of the way. Next up, we're gonna assemble the legs. Now it doesn't sit exactly like you see here. As a matter of fact, these extend outward, and it's gonna be a lot deeper, so it'll sit like this. But we need to install support brackets on the bottom to have those extend it like this. Support brackets are included in the kit, just like this, and we'll go straight across. Now, as you see, the support bracket has a small hole on each end and then a slightly larger one just on one side. This larger one is actually what's gonna drill down into the center console. These two smaller ones are gonna support these legs, so that's what we're gonna use. So grab those and the hardware in the kit and we're gonna bolt them down. Now the bracket is gonna go from the inside going downward. You don't wanna install it from the underside. Going from the inside actually pushes them out farther to make sure they're completely straight. From there, line them up with the holes. We're gonna grab the real tiny Phillips head screws in the kit along with a Phillips head screwdriver and tighten it down to the pre-threaded holes.
All right, once you have one bracket down, just repeat for the other one. What you'll notice here is the other bracket is the exact same. So wherever you put your drilling mounting hole for the center console, just do the opposite on the other side. So we have the hole on this left side on my left. Now for the other one, I'm gonna put it on my right. Next up, we want to connect our lid supporting bracket. Now that's already connected to the lid here. It's this bracket you see. On the bottom portion, there's a welded on little tab with a drilled hole. You're going to bolt this bracket to that and it's going to support the lid when you open it inside the vehicle. If you don't bolt this down to the side here, the lid will hyperextend. You don't want that to happen inside the vehicle. So you want to bolt it here so it supports the lid upright. Grab the 532nd hex screw, include it in the kit along with the nylon washers and the nylon lock nut, which is an 11 millimeter. And we're gonna bolt that down to the side with the bolt on the inside. Grab a washer and throw it over the bolt head. Install that through the bracket slot. Now it is very tricky now that you have your leg up, but you'll squeeze, you gotta squeeze your hand in with that little nut and go inside and you're just gonna grab it from underneath. There's a real small space, but once you have it in there, grab a wrench and hold that nut Grab a 532nd hex socket and you're gonna tighten this down. Now that you have that in place, you don't wanna over tighten it. When you over tighten it, you're gonna have a lot of struggle with the lid opening and closing. You just wanna get it nice and snug and test it out. You wanna be able to smoothly open and close it, but you don't want it to slam shut or be too tight. You want that sweet spot. And occasionally, once you have this installed in your vehicle, after opening and closing it so many times, you might have to go back and readjust just to get it in the right position. But for now, this is looking pretty good. The fact that it uses a nylon lock nut helps the fact that it's gonna stay in one place. I don't think the screw's gonna come completely off, but it may need some adjustment once we get it in place. And what we're gonna do is drop it in place in the vehicle, mark our locations for drilling in the lower tabs here, using a center punch or a Sharpie, and then we're gonna get started. Now guys, it's about time we hop inside the RAM. We're gonna open up the center console. So we're gonna open this up, take our lock box, and it's gonna drop in just like this. We're gonna drop it right into place very simply, it's gonna go straight down. Now before we get started, I wanna quickly explain that I know I said drill earlier, and a drill is optional. These are self-tapping screws included in the kit, so what I'm actually gonna to do to make life a little bit easier, is I'm gonna open this up, find our mounting holes, and I'm gonna use a center punch to mark the location. Center punch is a really good way to make sure you're dead center and you know exactly where you're putting these screws. The screws being self-tapping screws will actually go straight in with a screwdriver, or if you have an impact gun with a bit, that'll definitely work as well. You can do the drilling, but I think this might be an easier route for you guys to go. So I'm gonna show you what it's like using the center punch. So let's get in there. All right, so now we're gonna open up the lock box with it in place. You wanna make sure it's seated all the way down there. You can see where our mounting holes are. There's one here, and there's one on the opposite end there. I'm gonna use a center punch to go right in the middle of that hole where our screw is gonna mount. Right on the bottom, I'm gonna mark our location. So that punch is just a real subtle hole right there. You do it a couple times just to make sure you got a good start. All right, I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. If you guys don't have a center punch, you can just put the screw in here, but I think this makes it easier for a starting location. Now we want to grab our screws and get started. All right, now you can grab one of your screws and put it down in that hole there. Down right down and line it up where you punched your center hole. You're going to put downward pressure on the screw and start getting it in place. Okay. I think I'm gonna get a drill. I'm actually gonna switch over to a bit on my impact gun and try to make this a little bit easier on us.
Perfect. Just gonna repeat that for the other side. Ready? Now guys, the next step is optional. You can be done at this point, but you can also take two of the remaining screws and put one on each side of the inside of your lock box. This adds additional security to make sure it's really secure. That's gonna wrap up my review and install for the Tuffy center console security insert available for the 10 to 18 Ram 1500 with the fixed floor center console. You can get yours right here at americantrucks.com.